Welcome to this eCapital Advisors video on building a cube in IBM Planning Analytics workspace. Traditionally, analytics efforts have involved complex software, dedicated experts, significant communication costs in the form of meetings and documentation, ultimately leading to slow and expensive projects. But IBM Planning Analytics embraces self-service with intuitive software, which empowers business users to solve problems directly without the need for IT involvement. This, in turn, reduces or eliminates communication costs and leads to fast insights. The ability for users to create and share their own cubes and business models is just one way that IBM Planning Analytics enables self-service. IBM Planning Analytics makes cube creation an easy three-step process. Step one, create your dimensions. Step two, combine your dimensions to create a cube. And step three, add any additional calculations. As a quick review of our prior video on OLAP concepts, dimensions are lists of related items. Dimensions can be combined to form cubes. Cubes can be used to hold, collect, and calculate data. To begin this example, I will create a new book in my workspace. Then I'm presented with a blank canvas on which I can begin to build. On the left pane, I see my available servers. I expand the server I want to work with, right click on dimensions, and click Create Dimension. I'm going to name this dimension Accounts, and then manually enter account names. You have the options to enter data, copy and paste, or import from your source systems. Right now I'm entering a few overhead expense accounts, salary, benefits, phone, postage, utilities, and rent. Then an entry for total overheads. Consolidations are a breeze. I just drag the overhead accounts onto the total and they automatically consolidate. I can format these items by right-clicking and choosing the format I prefer. In this case, I'll choose the accounting format. After you have created your dimensions, you can combine them to create a cube. To do this, select Cube in the left pane, right-click and choose Create Cube. Enter a name for the cube. I'll name this Overheads. Then select the dimensions you want and click Create. The cube now exists. To view it, right-click on it and select Add New View. An exploration view is added to the canvas. You have the power to reorient this view and to nest dimensions by dragging the dimension boxes to the rows or the columns or the context area. This capability allows users to gain deep insight from many perspectives. After you have created your cube, you can easily create insightful and compelling dashboards with it. In this example, I've used the overheads cube to create a dashboard with a quarterly actual, budget, and variance report, along with related charts and key indicators. I made the dashboard view to allow filtering on the regions dimension. I can now share this dashboard with my team to allow for collaborative, data-driven decision-making. Thank you for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about self-service analytics, please contact us at eCapitalAdvisors.com or you can contact me directly at jlahey at eCapitalAdvisors.com. Thank you.